Hey buddy, Some Nuts Guy here. Hope you're having an awesome day so far, and welcome back for more RL Craft. You might be wondering what this thing behind me, this funny contraption with the colorful flames is, and I will explain that in just a moment. But today, we are going to be fighting Asmodeus, and Asmodeus is... Definitively the hardest of the three Lycanite bosses, even though he's only the second one and Amalgalich is technically the end game boss and does have a one shot mechanic. I think Asmodeus, in terms of his mechanics, how he works, and his primary attack is the main issue, really, is probably the hardest one. So we are going to need some luck today. And you know what that means? Make sure you hit that like button to boost our like luck. <laughs> Alrighty, let's go. Some nuts guy. Grab gaming by the nuts. So this thing here is the alchemical, advanced alchemic condenser from the rustic mod, which has a bunch of different potions available to it. And I have actually learned something. I learned something very recently from one of you guys in the comments, actually. Thank you for that. Which is that the Lycanite boss's attacks strip your buffs. Now, I don't usually get hit by either Amalgalich's sort of Shadow Orb or uh, Ray Havart's other attacks, apart from that one that we talked about last episode. But I always notice that against the Osmodius fight, I did lose my buffs, or most of them, and I wasn't really sure why or exactly how it worked, but apparently all of the three Lycanite bosses' primary attacks will strip off, off your buffs as well. But because Osmodius has that machine gun, it's like... Brrr, it's the one that kind of I only really get hit by. But apparently, it doesn't strip the buffs, obviously, that you have from your gear, your your set bonuses, or from any equipped, like, potion rings, or, or the shield of honor, the resistance from that, or any of that kind of stuff. So, it also apparently doesn't strip buffs from the rustic potions. So, say, for example, the elixir of iron skin. And this machine here is how you craft the potions from the Rustic mod. So we've actually gone out of our way to get some... We had to go get farm some, get some iron berries and some clay. But we have some iron skin elixirs from the Rustic mod now. Which is, one, better than the iron skin uh, potion that we were using pre previously. And two, hopefully won't be stripped by Asmodeus' attacks. There's probably some other stuff in here that we could grab potentially if we wanted to. Might even get the speed one. What do we need? Wind thistles? I actually have some wind thistles, I think. Apparently, I don't have any wind thistles. But um, we're also going to make a uh, potion ring of resistance. We did get that one heart of diamond, so we're going to make a resistance ring, which we'll use instead of the hardy feral claws. Um, because the, having that extra resistance and not having that removed would be probably quite beneficial. We are going to keep battle burritos on us, and we'll probably... <sighs> I don't know whether it's worth fully buffing, because I think he'll strip those pretty quickly. So we won't do the full buff like we did left for Ray Havart. We'll do that for Malgalich, but not for Asmodeus. We will keep the Battle Burritos on us, though, because it is nice for a quick, quick temporary boost if we do need to. It gives you the regeneration and the rejuvenation. We'll keep some wine on us if we need to boost those uh, in terms of duration or strength. But I think we'll do this without the full buffs like we did with Ray Havart. All right, resistance ring, Pog. Now we're going to have to reforge this. Hopefully it doesn't take too much. I mean, now we've got tons of gold, so it doesn't really matter, I guess. Nice, undying. Only took 20 gold. And we want to get hardy on here as well. Oh, perfect. That was easy. So we've got to make the Aberrant Soul Cube, and conveniently, we actually already got an Aberration Soul Stone from one of the Lycanite bosses we killed, so that is quite convenient. Well, we will also need to make the Aberrant Stone, which will require End Stone, which I don't think I have any of. Rip. We will, of course, need another Soul Key. We have also gotten a lot of Blaze Powder from the last boss we did as well, so let's try and reforge uh, our uh, Hardy Shield or, and or our Dragon's Eye. For undying. Come on, reforge luck. Let's go, baby. It's not looking good. Okay, we got healthy again. I was going to say, if we lose healthy. But yeah, no, that... God, these two are being... I've gone so, through so many glowing ingots. I must have been at least a stack of glowing ingots trying to get these two undying. <gasps> Bruh. Right, Asmodeus needs to be spawned in the end. And I think we're pretty much ready to go. So without further ado... 
All right, so I need to grab an end stone, and as per usual, I forgot to bring a pearl to go through the uh, the old portal. So let's grab ourselves a pearl and an end stone. Here we go, some pearls. And some end stone. All right, so we want to build this thing a little bit away from the portal that we came in through, because the generation of the arena would delete that, I believe. No, wait, that doesn't make sense. Now, we got to watch out for these guys. Normally, I build the arena uh, or I build the summoning altar while still mounted because <laughs> I've had it on a really nice run where we were trying to complete the whole game in a single stream where we were, you know, we jumped off our mount and we're casually building the arena, feeling very confident. And then a uh, Argus came over, hit us, gave us instability, and we used it off the map. So, uh, I usually build this while still mounted. And we will, of course, need to make the cube itself. Once we've got the end stone, we're going to have to make the the old aberrant stone. There we go. Soul cube. Lovely. Pop that on there. Boop. Boop. And then we'll get the diamonds atop here. See, see that Argus? See, if we weren't mounted, this guy would have come over and screwed us up. Oh wait, we might just get screwed up anyway. The mounts, oh God, I did not consider the health of my mount. That was actually extremely close, especially as I didn't bring myself any scrolls to get out. Damn it, I didn't bring any scrolls to get out of here. <laughs> God, why do I keep forgetting to bring scrolls every time I go to a different dimension? My heart just kind of lipped in my mouth a little bit there as I noticed my mount's health and narrowly missed getting hit by that Argus. Okay, you know, maybe I shouldn't build it on here. I kind of build it on these types of things to avoid the, um... all the old mobs that are running around here, but maybe it's just more risk than it's worth. Alright, so we're pretty much ready to go here. We are... what we're gonna do is we're gonna half buff up because... I'm curious to see what buffs we lose and what buffs we don't. So we're going to use the battle burrito. We are going to make sure we've got the heals on our health bar. We can't use these recall potions, so we'll move that out of the way. I will end up using my bow, or I often use my bow for uh, for Asmo. So I'm going to keep that on the hot bar as well. I'm going to put the ring of resistance on. We're not going to bother with all the potion rings, because I think they're, that those buffs are going to get stripped anyway if I'm not wearing the rings. So we're going to go battle burrito, uh, wild berry wines... Uh, we need the key on the hotbar, and then we've got the Rustic Elixir as well. So if we go Battle Burrito, increase the duration, Iron Elixir, and then spam a bunch of these to increase the duration up to about four, four and a half, five minutes. Then we'll use two Wildberry Wines to get all of those buffs. Well, it's pretty much just the Iron Skin that we need to get to three, but two, two Wildberry Wines... Um, and I will keep the battle burritos on my hotbar, actually, in case we need those. And, uh, I think, uh, I'll put that back there. And I think we'll pretty much be good to go. I'll keep an ender pearl as well, just in case we need to get out of a sticky situation. So, uh, let's, uh, let's get this thing going, shall we? And I'm really curious, we'll take the beginning a little bit slow, because I'm curious to see what buffs get removed and what attacks remove the buffs. Because it seems a little bit inconsistent. Doesn't really seem like there's much for us to clear here, so we can just wait patiently for homie, homie to arrive. What we'll do is we'll let him hit us with his machine gun a little bit at the beginning. Oh, lag. Hitting pause as soon as you lag is a good idea in some circumstances, because you don't want to die in the middle of a lag. But, okay, so we don't look like we're losing in our, any of our buffs yet. I thought it was this machine gun sort of primary attack that was stripping the buffs, but it doesn't... Seem like it is necessarily. Yeah, we're not we're not losing any buffs here. We are taking a fair bit of damage. Oh, that's getting healed very quickly. Interesting. Oh, is it this attack? Maybe it's this attack. Hit me with it. Hit me. That didn't seem to strip any of our buffs either. Hmm. I'm curious then. What what attack is it that strips the buffs? Seems seems quite inconsistent. Let's get in and get some damage done. Okay. Oh, there we lost buffs. There we lost buffs. 
Okay, so is it some kind of like quasi melee attack? I'm really unsure. I'm really unsure. Did we lose? What did we lose? Wait, where did my weapon go? <laughs> we lost... Okay, so we've lost the rejuvenation. We lost the regeneration. We lost the resistance, or one level of the resistance. We still have the strength. Man, I'm super confused on the exact mechanics of this. Oh my god, he nearly killed us, dude. What the hell? Oh, he's moving. Oh, he's moving. Dude, why is it just my head? My head is on five hearts and everything else is on 20 plus. Bruh. What the hell? He just... Okay, well, this is a little scrappier than I was expecting. I suppose we are just sort of letting him hit us in the face. Um, we really need to get this our head healed up here because he will take that down quickly even before we get in range to be able to start life stealing. And that's going to be our core... You know, a core part of our healing is, of course, the lifesteal. Um, how long do we have? We've got two minutes left on these buffs. Well, I feel like a lot of them will be stripped before that anyway. All right, let's get in do some damage. Get some lifesteal going. Oh, dude, seven hearts. Okay, okay. Lifesteal, 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 lifesteal. Hello? Did he... Hello? Did he spawn his guys? Why weren't we able to damage him there? Did he spawn his uh, his immunity dudes? I don't see them. No, that should be phase two. Hmm. Why weren't we doing damage, sir? I have like got a minute and a half left on these buffs. Hmm. Maybe I should not have been dicking around so much at the beginning. All right. Here we go. Cool. Damage is coming in good. Our lifesteal doesn't seem to be doing that much for us. Alright, phase two is in play here. So he's got his dudes. We're down to a minute left in our buffs. And I'm just going to eat another battle breeder. Just temporarily get this healing to be a bit more effective. And then we need to kill his, uh, his immunity homies. Which we might do with our bow, to be honest. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Get rid of that one. Is that both of them down? Looks like it might have been both of them down. Let's get some life steal off these guys. Got Argus's getting out. Oh, so many remote. Where the hell did you guys come from, huh? What the actual F? Okay, and both of the guys are down, so let's get in close. And smack, 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 smack. Keep an eye on our health. Which our body's at 26, head's at 25. Life's still coming in clutch. Alright, he's gonna go down to phase 3. Alright, he's got his guys. Oh, it's not even phase 3 yet, but he did summon more of those dudes. We'll eat another battle... Oh my god, hey guy. Uh, eat another battle burrito here. Oh, these dudes down. Those are gone, good. Oh, he teleported over there. Just get this going again. All right, now we get in for the final final attack here. Let's get our health up a little bit more. How much time do we have on our iron skin? Zero. Iron skin's gone. Okay. But we still have the resistance three, which I find interesting. Drink another iron skin potion. And another wild berry. Wait, I saw we got two wild berries. What just happened? Anyway, let's get back in there. Oh, he's got more, more buddies. It's pearl. Get rid of his buddies. Wait, he's coming to me this time. Perfect. And we get in for the final bits of damage that we should need to do here. Did he summon more buddies? I think he summoned more, more buddies. Oh, 1.5 heart. 1.5. 1.5. 1.5 hearts. Oh my god. Oh, we had 1.5 hearts on our head, dude. Okay, that was very close. Because he summoned more of his immunity buddies. We do not like those guys. We're kind of plowing through some battle burritos here. Dude, this Asmo is actually a fun boss, man. I mean, they're, they're all fun in their own way, but Asmo's actually tough. And you know me, I do like that difficulty. I'm still not exactly sure. It seems to be, it seems to always be close when he strips our buffs. And I'm not sure exactly what attack it is. 
GG, buddy. GG, my dude. Good fight. Good epic fight. Which is weird that he was just taking damage. Because I swear... Yeah, he hit these guys up. I swear. Or did... Did... did he summoned them just as he died. But they are alive, these these guys that provide the immunity. So, he shouldn't have been taking damage there. Honestly, Asmodeus confuses me a little bit sometimes. Just just a little bit. And uh, he's always the toughest one. I mean, that was sketchy as F. We got the one and a half hearts at one point there. That was just a little bit sketchy. Just a little bit. And honestly... He's probably the main boss that where it would be wise to actually just kill him with a bow. Because it would be a lot easier. A lot easier. But y'all know me. I don't necessarily like easy now, do I? <laughs> uh, much to my own expense sometimes. But uh, but no, that was, uh, that was good. Easy clap. Well, not easy clap. Difficult clap. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we got what we needed. We need the Corruptor Skulls to be able to summon the next boss. And, uh... What, we've got the Nether Stars as well. Is there anything else here that we want? Not really. Alright. Well, time to, for us to head home. Although I didn't bring a scroll. Silly me. So we'll have to go back to the portal. Oof, you know, I just realized I have never actually marked the portal on my on my atlas. Note to self, always mark portal on Atlas. Now, these do have those little arcade rooms that have the scrolls in them. I think this is the one that I've looted all the scrolls from already. Which I think means that my exit portal should be nearby here somewhere. Ah, here it is. I was almost just thinking I've completely trolled myself and we're going to have to go exploring. Alright, and we make a break for the portal. Oh, run. <laughs> yeah. Goodbye. Oh, is this the first time I've gone through this? <laughs> well, Minecraft credits. Oh, yeah, you come out with, like, no health. Kind of spooked me there for a second. All right, well, I've learned a little bit more on how Asmodeus works. Still a slight confusion on exactly what attacks are stripping the buffs, but it does seem like it's only when you get in super close, because it wasn't the primary machine gun attack like I thought it was going to be. Further testing required, but I don't think I'll do that in a in a normal survival playthrough. Might might jump in and do uh, do some testing in a creative world or something to get a really good understanding of that because knowing how that works exactly would probably make things a little bit a little bit easier. Again, I don't need to make it as difficult for myself as I do. I can't just bow them down. I don't have the advanced power, so it'd take a hot minute, but definitely a much safer option. I still don't know what else to put in these videos, because I want to keep the three bosses separate as individual videos. But then there's just not quite enough for a full video length. So this is probably going to be a fairly short one. Although I frequently say that, and then I go to trimming, and then it's not actually as short as I thought it was going to be. Um, but if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, consider subscribing. And as always, great to see you in the comments. Hope you have an awesome rest of your day. Take care. Thank you.